YouTube, Chris Moreno back with another video. So just gonna jump right in. So today's video is gonna be dealing with shoulder pain, shoulder snapping, right? So typically, as you go overhead, you're feeling either restriction, right? You can't go all the way past overhead. Like my left arm is currently at the moment compared to, let's say, my right side, right? So pretty much, we want to make sure that the joint of the shoulder is actually in that centralized position, right? It's in the most stable position possible. So especially if you're training a bunch of chest, lats, triceps, that's going to be a shit ton of internal rotation of the shoulders. So that's typically why, you know, people who just hit nothing but the front side of their body, they end up looking like this or like this, and they get to the point where they can't do any overhead pressing because they're restricted. They're not able to go into this position. Either they're physically incapable of do, like just getting to that point or and or it's just too painful. So again, this is not a quick fix. This isn't like, oh, you do it once and then you're good to go. You may feel a lot of relief from doing it once. You may feel just a little bit but this is something that you gotta keep on doing over and over again. If I had to put a number on it, doing it you know, two to three times a week would help out. Doing it every other day would help out. You can do this every single day, but it's not necessary to do it that much because you still gotta make sure that you are one, still doing your strengthening movements, right? You're still getting the areas of weakness stronger, areas of instability more stable. And then of course, you know, these are gonna, well, this routine is pretty much working on your ability to just get in those positions. One portion of it is just being able to get in that position. Another portion of it is having strength in that position. And you wanna make sure that whatever it is that you're doing in the gym is working on both. So let's jump right into things. So again, now that I have both hands available. Typically, if you're feeling the pain around right here, this AC joint, like near the front of the shoulder, this is typically going to be the routine that will help over time relieve that issue. So, first thing you're going to do, come down on your side, right? You don't got to necessarily be stacked, right? You're just going to be on your side, and then from here, with this hand, you're gonna place it underneath this elbow and you're gonna think to pull, not necessarily as hard as you can, but to provide some tension, right? So I'm pulling with my right arm and then I'm pressing down with my left elbow. So I'm basically like fighting myself. Not again, not as hard as possible. From here, I'm gonna work on slowly bringing my hand towards the ground while still basically pushing and pulling and then you're gonna wanna ideally do this for two minutes, especially if you've never done this before. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do this for five deep breaths. And of course, while you're holding it, you wanna make sure you're getting some exaggerated breathing. So all the way through the nose, inhale. Full exhale, either at the mouth or the nose. Out of it slowly, of course, and then even if you only have pain on one side, you always do both sides. So, the next thing we're gonna do is just a banded shoulder opener, it's gonna pretty much get your, your lats, upper chest, then get some tricep. But what, what you're gonna do, put the band around the crease of the elbow, place your hand behind your neck, like so, and keep your elbow pointed straight up and then try to bring that same knee right so left elbow is banded my left knee comes down I'm in this half kneeling position and then of course I'm going forward a little bit apply some tension on the band and then from here we're gonna bend towards this hip right so I'm bending towards this hip right and then not as hard as I can but I'm applying some pressure with my elbow pressing against the band so that way the band pulls me more and then same thing, hold it ideally for two minutes each side. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna do five deep breaths. And then strain the arm, and then get out of it 
and then you do the other side. Alright, so this next thing is just some four V slide sweeps, right? You want to put a name on it. So you're going to lay on your back, make sure you're driving your knees up as hard as you can, and do some flexing at the ankles, right? So close that gap between your back and the floor, and then hands in this karate chop position. We're just going to slide up and then bring the hands together. And then you slide down. That's one. We're gonna get 20 to 30 reps for ideally two minutes of work. Periodically, you can pick your head off the ground, still sliding your hands out and up, and then in, and then reversing down. And then this last thing is just going to be this shoulder joint reset. So you can pretty much just find the edge of a machine, the edge of a wall, something that you can press your elbow against. And then you're going to have, I'm going to just show you guys and then I'll explain. I'm going to bring my elbow onto the edge and then with the adjacent leg, it goes back behind me. And then one other thing, you want your hand on your hip, you should find your hip bone. And then your elbow should be in front of your body. Inhale. Then as you exhale, press the elbow against the machine and you'll feel a little click. That's the shoulder resetting. You then do the other side. Inhale. And if it doesn't pop, then that means that shoulder is already in that centralized position. So again, this is gonna help you feel better, but what's gonna ultimately get you better is strengthening where it is that you're currently weak at. And then of course, you're building stability where it is that, where you're unstable at. But uh, just as a quick check, right? So before, it was hard to go overhead. So give this out or give this routine a try. Let me know how it works for you. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all keep killing it. Y'all keep stacking wins. Y'all have a good one. Peace.